Looks like the footage I was recording didn't get recorded. I didn't push the button properly like I thought or something. Um, so I don't have as much footage as I would have liked of me showing you guys uh, the wiring process. But it's kind of tedious anyway and I don't think you guys would want to sit there and watch me run wire. Terminate it, run wire, terminate it, run wire. Um, but I've gotten the majority of the engine wired up. TPS, idle air, all the injectors. I've started uh, wrapping them in electrical tape just to try and make a bit of a loom out of it. Um, and the other injector, the vehicle speed sensor. I've still got to go through and tape a lot of it up but they're, they're all soldered and heat shrinked and then the loom runs into the cabin it'd be nice if I could get another one of these up here it looks like there is a hole for one I'm pretty sure I've got one inside so I might go and dig that up one day um, oh yeah Everything is coming along. You've got the intake air temperature and most of the other bits and pieces. Uh, vehicle speedo. Brown wire. What was a brown wire? I think that's just sensor ground. I'll check that though. Um, yeah, you know, power, uh, injectors, vehicle speed, taco. Actually, I wired the taco, oh, where's that one? Oh, yeah, taco, vehicle speed. For a couple of other little bits and pieces, I need to tap into this start relay because I hit the key yesterday to have a look and wind it over and see if I could record the, the oscilloscope for the cranking and cam triggers I didn't want to wind over I went back over my wiring diagrams and this start relay was controlled by the factory ECU so I need to now bypass that um, I'm going to have a look and see if any of these pins feed back into these if they do then I'm going to feed them power and ground if I need to feed them ground and uh, pulled the plugs they look pretty good that one looks probably the best one of them all there's a couple that have a lot of oil on them and of course I can't find one now uh, which is a bit alarming one of them broke as I was pulling them out yeah, this one here it's soaked I'm not sure what's going on with this bloody oil. I think it might be a valve stem seal's gone again. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get this wired up for now and I'll deal with that at a later date. So, the first thing I want to do this morning is bypass that start relay and see if I can get this thing to crank over again. After that I'm going to make a mounting bracket. I'm going to try and mount all the coils here. Try and mount them all here. I think they're just going to fit two down here. I'm going to be a little close to this exhaust but not too close and I can, I can always heat wrap this which I want to do anyway. Um, so, let's get on with trying to work out this relay. I need pin number 30 and 85, which is this one and this one. This one and this one is pin 30 and 85. Which are the two activation pins on the relay. So, I'm going to go grab my multimeter, wherever I've left it. And, uh... 
start probing these wires and see if I can find what's what. Connected. TPS is working. Uh, scope. Go get scope data. I think. I want to give it a couple of full rotations. Nothing. Why is there nothing? Hang on, maybe I've got to set the trigger out. Oh, 